Aaron by Harold Cohen at 1970 and onwards ascribed for the visually impaired. Describe. This image features a digital artwork with a distinct use of flat colours and bold outlines reminiscent of vector graphics. The central figure is a person standing to the left, characterised by simplified shapes and a limited palette of colours, blues for the shirt, greens for the shorts, and a flesh tone for the skin. Their posture is dynamic, with one hand on their hip and the other raised to their chest, possibly in a gesture of surprise or contemplation. The background is dominated by a vibrant red, against which a potted plant with long green leaves and thorny branch-like structures emerges. These structures intertwine, creating an organic mesh that contrasts with the human figure's more geometric form. The outlines are heavy and black, providing clear delineation between the various elements of the composition. Overall, the image has a stylized and somewhat abstract quality. Context. This artwork may be linked to the pioneering digital art created by artists like Harold Cohen, who utilized computer programs to generate art, a field that burgeoned in the late 20th century. The style indicates a possible influence from early digital art programs, which often had a distinctive flatness due to the limitations of the software. The interaction between human forms and abstract computer-generated shapes can reflect the evolving relationship between humans and technology, a subject that has become increasingly relevant in contemporary discourse. This piece might be an exploration of the boundaries between natural forms represented by the human and the plant and the artificiality of computer-generated patterns. The era from which this artwork could originate might be one of digital exploration, where artists like Cohen, using systems like Aeron, a program designed to produce art, examined the creative potential of artificial intelligence and computer algorithms. This intersection of art and computer science speaks to broader themes of artificiality versus nature, control versus randomness, and the ways technology can both imitate and innovate upon traditional artistic techniques. For Art Lovers, by Art Lovers, share and subscribe